you found a Canon Cat and this cool little device. You can see it's all in one. It has a three and a half inch floppy drive built into it. Ooh, wow. And this was the vision that Jeff Raskin had for the Macintosh, or at least what it ended up coming out as. Once he left Apple and went on his own, he found Canon to be the funder of his project. So and, Canon like the camera company? Yes, and he came out with the Canon Cat. And it's interesting that it was marketed as the advanced work processor and primarily it was a word processor. And I think that his feelings were that when you're in an office environment and you have to put yourself back in that time period of the early to mid eighties and realize that when you had someone typing in a word document, the last thing that he was thinking was that your hand would keep leaving the keyboard to go over to a mouse to do some function. So he built a lot of the functionality into the keyboard with using these leap button and these document buttons. And you can see the blue writing at the front of a lot of the keys. So if you're a fast typist, then on this machine, you never have to leave the keyboard. Your hands never have to leave the keyboard and you can be much quicker and more productive. And that was the idea anyway.